Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to teach you how to camp on Nuketown in the wonderful game called Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Pause the game there if you want to see my class setup because uh, I'm too lazy to figure out how to pause it myself. Anyway, Dominate. camping. Camping is a strategy that can be used by anyone. Let's it's like a martial art. Just like in martial arts, when smaller opponents can defeat larger opponents using technique, unskilled players in COD can defeat skilled players in COD through the strategy of camp. Tip number one, always check the window across the map before checking B. Kill some noobs trying to protect the flag over there. Now get right back into position. This is where you want to aim the gun when you're on the side of the map. This is the good side of the map. Which you'll find out later why. Now check that window. Yeah, Always crouch before checking that window. And make sure the entire left side of the map is clear before you check B. Otherwise you'll die like a noob. See, these people don't stand a chance. When you reload you want to go hide in this corner. Check your score. Make sure you're still beasting. Now, when you get an extra trip mine, I like to put it down there. That way I can have two out at the same time without them being re too redundant. Get a headshot on the noob, get a headshot on the noob. Always, every now and then you want to check behind you. It's great to have teammates who run out there and act like noobs. Um, they're a good distraction for the enemies. Um, Ready for deployment. So far, my three favorite kill streaks are the sentry gun, Talon, and the Wraith. Oh, once I unlock the mothership, I might replace the Wraith. Notice how I'm using Sixth Sense determine when noobs are underneath me like that so I can just turn around and kill them because trip mines are not very reliable never rely on them um, and watch this watch me go in beast mode with this thing now when you're flying the town you want to make sure you, s you stay in the middle of the map you don't want to go too far into their spawn so they can't s spawn back there anymore and then they start spawning behind your camping spot you don't want that because like I said you can't rely on the trip mines to protect your back and so the camping spot is most effective when the noobs are spawning on the other side of the map I'm just straight back and forth right here like I'm doing and own some noobs this talon is probably the most effective score streak reward in the game. You guys gonna capture B? Make sure you yell at your teammates to capture B while you're using um, your score streak rewards. You're, remember, your teammates are here to play the objective. You're here to pwn noobs, get kills, and defend objective. Notice where I place these hives. They're spread out so that they have the best chance of murdering these little pieces of shit who try to sneak up behind you and try to sneak past your unreliable trip mines. The hives are much more reliable than the trip mines and Nomad, the specialist uh, that I'm using right now, is probably the best specialist to use while camping. The reason why I spread out the hives is that there's a delay between when an enemy walks over the hive and when it actually kills him. So the enemy can run through a bunch of hives and, and waste them. So, so you want to spread them out so that you're not wasting any hives. Your biggest weakness while camping in this spot is that you're relying on your teammates to guard the entire right side of the map. When you're aiming like I'm aiming right now, there's no way a noob's gonna kill you from in front. But there are plenty of ways that an enemy can sneak up behind you, which is why you need to use hives, trip mines, shock charges, 
um, to help you know when enemies are coming up behind you. You also want to use, like I said before, Sixth Sense. Um, and you want to use awareness so you could hear the idiots running underneath you because nobody uses dead silence, especially on, on Noob Town. Look at this. What am I, 28 and 0? I'm, I'm so good at this game. It, it's just undeniable. There's no one who can stop me. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, yeah, so you, since you can't, you don't have eyes in the back of your head. You need to put everything you got behind you to make sure some loser can come up behind you and ruin your streak. It's, it's, it's not fair that you don't have eyes in the back of your head. So you gotta do what you gotta, you gotta do. Now this is the bad side of the map because of this right here. Gotta make sure there's not someone waiting for you to, to run into your spot. So make sure you check every time, even at the beginning of a game, because some people run very fast to get there. Um, you also have a smaller view of the car, which is why it's worse. Um, you do have a better view of B, but it's it's very dangerous to look over B. You always gotta check the window first. Um, but when you get a sentry gun, it, it can do a very good job of protecting B. I aim this far back to minimize uh, what the enemies can see of me outside the window. I don't want someone... Um, from the other building seeing me inside this building. I don't want someone near B seeing me inside this building. I create a choke point out of the right side of the map here. If you're too low a level to have the, the sentry gun, um, I use the Cerberus, which is pretty good, especially on Nuketown since it's so small. So, a lot of time losers like to destroy it with their gravity spikes and other bullshit. Um, but here, just camping along. Uh, see teammates dying over there on the wrong side of the window. You gotta stay to the left here. Minimize what the enemies can see of you. Teammates are doing a good job getting B this round. Getting score streaks as well. Noob comes around the corner. To get my ruthless medal. Now put the wraith on the spawn. So it shoots the people trying to shoot it down. Gets the most kills possible there. I use the awareness and sixth sense to see that guy coming up behind me. Notice how I spread out all the hives. Put one up on the ceiling for good luck. Very careful when you're running on this side of the map. Hit markers, yay, yay, automation. Flawless as usual. Losing B, can check the window. Kill all those noobs on B. Let your teammates recapture B. Don't forget your purpose here. Your purpose is to get kills. To get high streaks. Minimize the amount of deaths you get. Ideally you get no deaths. Even if you sit in the corner the entire match. Now, now there. <laughs> there is one of the um, the weaknesses of this spot. Uh, if you know what you're doing on the other team, you could easily shoot me through the wall. And I've been camping on Nuketown for years, uh, since Black Ops 1. But some people just haven't figured it out yet. They could just shoot right through the wall. It's pretty easy, actually. Surprised more people don't do it, but people who play Call of Duty pretty dumb, so you don't need to worry about that most of the time. Sometimes your teammates get in the way, just uh, just ignore them. They'll eventually die because they're bad. You're good. Saw so my sixth sense go off there.
Yep. Just a normal day on Nuketown. Now, for some reason, I clearly have the highest KD in the lobby, but I'm not on my I'm not on the top of my team's leaderboard. So Treyarch needs to fix that glitch. Uh, I don't know what's wrong there. I should have crouched there. I was being being a little brave. You don't want to be brave. You want to be a coward. Bravery gets you killed. Coward helps you survive. Oh, and that's a spawn point over there. So um, sometimes when you look away for a second, they get spawn there. Um, usually it's good, unless you're pretty bad at this game like me. You normally don't have to worry about people jumping in the window pretty easy to kill them. Before I got uh, unlocked scavenger, I would put a shock charge in the window to stop the noobs from jumping in the window. Um, I'm just shooting my hive out here because the game's about to end. I'm trying to get as many kills as possible. Um, yeah, you have it. Um, uh, I was a beast. I have no idea why we lost. Um, my team must suck or something. Uh, yeah, well, that's how you camp Nuketown. Now, most of these strategies can be used on any map, but um, they work extra well on Nuketown because Nuketown is such a small map and it doesn't get boring when you're aiming down sights for like 10 minutes on end. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Let's see you uh, camp on Nuketown. Uh, you have a couple choices here. Please like, favorite, subscribe, or fuck off. Bye.